the 2021 assault weapons ban let's take a look at that on what they were actually looking to ban in 2021 which is a possibility of what could be in this 2022 bill so here we go a actually they actually define what they consider a semi-auto assault weapon they actually literally say in the reading semi-auto assault weapon and it's regardless of country of manufacture or caliber a semi-automatic rifle that one has the capacity to utilize a magazine that is not a fixed magazine, therefore a detachable magazine like the rifle I currently own. A pistol grip, a forward grip, which mine does have, therefore uh, mine would be considered one of these. A folding, telescoping, or detachable stock that is otherwise foldable or adjustable that we can operate and to reduce length, size, or any other dimension of the firearm. So... Let's see what else they offer. Um, a grenade launcher, a barrel shroud, a.k.a. handguard, which is standard on every single rifle, including your hunting stock rifles. The handguard being the forend where you hold the thing, where you're not holding onto the barrel. Thank you. A uh, threaded barrel, which almost every single firearm these days has. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, um, if your firearm does have, or your semi-automatic rifle does happen to have a fixed magazine, it cannot have the capacity to accept more than 10 rounds unless it is a tubular device utilizing 22 long rifle only. <laughs> All right. And what else? Okay. They, they go on to say semi-automatic pistol that does not utilize a fixed magazine. It will not be allowed to have a threaded barrel, a second pistol grip, a barrel shroud, the capacity to hold a de or accept a detachable magazine at some location outside the pistol grip. So they do not allow for a firearm, a handgun now, to use a pistol, a uh, magazine that comes up ahead of the trigger guard or behind the trigger guard. It must go inside the pistol, uh, the grip that you hold itself. Let's see, what else do they do? Oh, it cannot be a semi-automatic version of an automatic firearm. So... Anybody with an M950 Calico, with the 50-round drum-fed pistol that was designed after the 950 Calico firearm that was used to be a fully automatic design, those are now banned. <laughs> oh, here we go. We keep going. Oh, they all do the semi-automatic shotgun now. So, for semi-auto shotguns, you, cannot, you must have a fixed magazine in order to keep it. It cannot have a pistol or it cannot have a folding telescoping or detachable stock. I am sorry, you people who love your Spaz 12s. Those are now considered on roster uh, for guarding this ban. Uh, it cannot have, it has to have a mixed magazine with the capacity that can only accept five rounds. Therefore, your uh, M1014s, your, M, uh, your M4 Benelli's, your not Mossberg 930s, your 940s are all considered illegal under this ban, which has not gone through yet. Please keep this in mind. Uh, let's see. What else do they do? Oh, the ability to attach and uh, accept a detachable magazine. That's your Saiga 12-gauge shotguns. That's your Chinese-manufactured clones of the Saiga 12-gauge shotguns. That's your AR 12-gauge shotguns, the Turkish ones that look like AR-15s, the VR-80s. All those... 12. Hmm? Vepper 12s? Yes, Vepper 12s. All those are now officially illegal. They also went after the Remington TAC-13 V3. So anything that has a pistol grip or bird's head grip. They just targeted all the shockwave semi-automatic uh, shotguns that are shorter than uh, 14 inches. And that's only if this actually... They, they write this bill the same way they did it in 2021. They write this bill the same way, and it gets passed by the House, the Senate, and the President signs it. So it's up to you to keep uh, this from happening. That's right. You got to contact your elected official. Contact your U.S. Senator. Contract, contract your, contact your congressman, congresswoman, and say, hey, this is, this is not going to fly. Because, you know, the United States was founded on firearms, uh, uh, back oh. in the 1800s, 1700s, you know, we had guns, and that's how we defended this nation and how we uh, main, built this nation on, nation on firearms. Okay, so then they all start listing all the firearms involved with this ban. Every AK imaginable, including the Palmetto State manufactured ones. Your Izvash, your Izmash Saiga AKs, your Madi AK-47s and arms, your Narinkos, your Polytex, your SKS uh, rifles that utilize a detachable magazine, 
all ARs, not just certain ones, every single AR, including the following, AR-10, AR-15, Alexander Arms, they start actually listing every manufacturer they can think of. And the list is about five miles long of that. They then go into uh, Barrett, M107A1. I am sorry, uh, Mr. One of our wonderful customers who I will not uh, remain non-anonymous. Uh, yes, your 50 cal will be considered illegal under this ban. The Barrett M82A1. The Beretta CX4 Storm also falls under the ban category. The Set May Sporter, the Calico. Everyone who owns an FNFAL or FAF, FNFAL clone, I'm sorry, you're going to have to give that girl up. <laughs> Same thing with the FNC, the 308 Match, the L1A1 Sporter, your PS90s, your Scars, and your S2000s. They literally just told FN you can no longer sell some automatic rifles in America, mm. according to this ban. Mm. Right. Let's see. Um, go oh, ahead. go ahead. Uh, Donald's asking if there's a uh, grandfather clause in there. There is, and it gets weird. So, in order for you to be have this grandfathered in, it must be registered almost like an NFA item. It must be securely stored, whatever the heck that means. I don't know how they're going to figure out what securely stored is or how they're going to even determine if the firearms is securely stored. No, my house is not available for search. No, thank you. You can tell me that uh, you need to search my house, and I'll tell you uh, I need to do a level four plate check. <laughs> anyway, uh, or you permanently disable the firearm. So you must render that firearm inoperable either by cementing the barrel, removing certain components that render it inoperable that cannot be replaced. So you must weld the sucker together almost like a block of steel. Mm. So that's the only way. Let's keep going with the uh, banned firearms because they get even crazier. They go after High Point. The High Point carbine is actually on the list. Mm, that may not be a bad thing. Uh, the Tom. <laughs> oh, oh wait, all your Thompson sub, all your Thompson uh, Tommy gun clones or Tommy guns, the current ones that are in production. Mm -hmm. Every single one, both pistol and rifle, are targeted. Mm. Mm -hmm. They go after Scorpion pistols, the CZ Scorpions. They target the uh, every single AK pistol they can think of. They even look at this Kel uh, Keltec and say, your sub-2000s, your SU-16s, and your RFBs and RDBs are no longer available for manufacture to the public. Mm. All your Almost all your SIGs, like your uh, AMTs, your PI-57s, uh, your SIG MCXs, your MPXs, your Rattlers are all on this list. Mm. Mm. Every single one of them. All your Uzis are on the list. All your, uh, let's see, for pistols, let's see, we keep, uh, let's go down this roster for pistols now. That's, a, that's the, the kitchen sink. They go after, oh, your MP5 clones that are starting to pop up from Turkey, those wonderful MP5 clones, every single one of those plus the original HK MP5 clones are on list. All your Daniel Defense rifles, all your Kiapa M4 pistol, uh, pistol firearms, your uh, DS arms, those are your... Foul clones, all banned. Your PLR-16 by Keltec banned. Your P-50 by Keltec banned. Oh, um, the mini, the, uh, so all your MAC-10s and MAC-11s, all those, not considered legal to own. Mm. And the Sight Spectre, the 5.56 pistol, V-Mac, Steyr-Aug, all your bullpups are now no longer on market. Mm. Mm. 